What is going on guys, it's Waffle here and welcome back as I'm getting interrupted for this little meat buddy commercial over here. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to some more Journey to the Savage Planet. Last time we left off, we actually explored a little bit more of this Savage Planet and got some upgrades, one of which is the Proton Tether, which lets us kind of swing on the cliffs, which is awesome, as well as an upgrade for the Gauntlet. So now we can actually pick up those Bombogranis without them trying to explode immediately, right? As well as, yeah, we explored a little bit more and we got this like new like area, I guess you can call it, called the Itching Fields. So yeah, I, I even talked about it last episode. Oh, it looks like we're getting close to the end of this, but I guess that was the end of the landing site area. Now we're moving on to the Itching Fields over here, which is crazy. We can also uh, just travel to the habitat, which we're already in right now, so no need to do that. But we can go back to Planetary Flotsam, and I guess we can explore what's going on over here. So is this the one that has... Temperature 92 degrees. Biosigns nominal. Okay, yeah, this is that new area, so it looks kind of crazy. I guess we can kind of start exploring around here. Let's see if there's anything that pops up immediately for us to scan, though. What in the world is that thing? And why does that look like a piece of poo? Amazing! This creature created armor from amber to protect itself. Let's kill it anyway. <laughs> okay, both protective and stylish. You could likely melt it away with acid. Now, where is this acid going to be? What about that thing? I saw that shimmering in the background, too. Is that the acid? Acid. Good for corpse creation and disposal. You will be able to hold on to it for long without an upgrade. Though, if you gather some data, Kindred might approve one. Okay, so just like the Bombogranis, we could actually we could pick them up. But then, yeah, okay, so if we want to throw it at him, whoops. I guess it just canceled right there. <laughs> and throw it at him. Boom! And now his armor is gone. Whoops! Oh, now he's angry. Ah, slap him! Oh, kick him! <laughs> Boom! No, he's like pecking at me or something. Now he's a bunch of goo, okay? <laughs> All right, so anyways, yeah, we need to find probably some sort of shrine for what was this called? What was the actual bl blight bomb plant? Acidic pustules do some science and turn them into a face melting grenade. Yeah, just like the uh, which one? Where is it on this one? Yeah, bomber grenades. Yeah, I've got two of them right now, so I can actually use those if we ever come across any of those like little cracked holes in the wall. We got a little bit of silicon back here, though, but I do want to keep exploring this area. Is there anywhere I can actually latch on to? Oh, wait, we got a secret nearby. Is it that tower over there? We have a double jump, and let's scan it. Whoa, Zor's Planetary Flotsam. At least he's not going to attack me. Let's see what this is. An enigmatic tablet. Fascinating. I am detecting elements of an ancient transmission from within the tower that seems to be localized within these tablets. My initial assessment is it is some kind of video codec. If you could find more of these, I will continue to decode and store them. Okay, so that's going to be interesting. So we just need to find more of these things. Does it say how many we need? No, I detected encrypted video signal emanating from this structure. So I guess just keep looking around for those little statue things then, huh? What is this guy a different one? Uh, no, he's just a puffer bird from the valley. Okay, I guess I just keep going around. Now there's no, uh, as far as I can see at least. Well, they're over there, there are some uh, tether points that we could actually latch onto, so that's good. As well as over there, it looks like there's a few creatures, including that jellyfish guy. You guys commented last episode that I forgot to scan the jellyfish guy. Or the, the octopus guy, whatever he is, I don't know. He kind of looks like a jellyfish to me, though, but... If we go over here, ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on, ooh. Looks like over there, though, is a latching point. Actually, hold on, wait, what is that? Oh! See if I can zoom in on it. There it is, Skipper Scotch. Different colors, same poopy fish bird. I've never seen a skipper yet, so I guess it's just a variant of it, just like the uh, puffer birds. Oh, wait, hold on. We can actually, uh, whoop, and then, ah, there we go. Okay, now we're a little bit closer to this guy. Different colors, same. I don't know. I, I guess I haven't come across any of those fish bird guys yet, but it does look like, yeah, I could latch on over there, which is good. I assume is he friendly like the puffer bird? Because except for, you know, getting pooped on, it looks like right there. <laughs> hold on. Is there anything else around here? Oh, a little bit of silicon. Oh, it's one of those guys. We saw him last episode. We basically have to sneak over to him and just poke him in the eye, right? So, kind of want to see what that's all about. But for right now, am I able to latch on it? Usually it's safe I latch on this thing by now. Or maybe I just, oh, no, no, I guess you fall off. Jeez. Ah, save me, robot cartographer. <laughs> Okay, it looks like he actually saved me right there. That's good. How many times did he actually do that? I don't know, but I, I, I guess we don't have whatever ability this is. It, clearly, it's not the proton tether that's able to latch onto that thing. Golly. Let's keep exploring around here, though, and I guess we'll get closer to that orange stuff over there. Lip, lip. And get some of the silicon from this. There you go. 100 silicon. Golly, that's pretty good. Usually, you get like 50 from that, but no mind if I do if you get 100. Was that another one of those fish guys over there? And there's a... All right, should I explore that or explore that? Yeah, you know what? Let's explore this. Saw this. Oh, is that another? 
I don't know if that's another tablet over there I just saw in the corner of my eye, but yeah, I scan these uh, jellyfish guys because I got to scan them apparently. There's nothing more exciting than creatures who are filled to the brim with highly corrosive acid. Exactly like a normal squid. Except for its aerial properties and size and everything about it. Okay, so it's called a jelly waft, so I guess it is more like a jellyfish, even though I think it just said, yeah, like an octopus something something. What about that one? A jelly waff promoted to- Okay, so that one must be the alpha then, huh? That the prime one, so it's, it's going to be the pinkish looking one. But, uh, man, it keeps scanning the puffer birds. Like an octopus, except it has six tentacles and it flies. <laughs> yeah, I don't think octopi can fly, right? Getting a weird energy signature from a nearby floating island. Might want to check it out. Okay, we got an energy signature from the nearby floating island, so let's go check it out. As she literally just said right there, but am I able to take this guy? Nope. Seems like, yep, he is just like an alpha, a little bit more powerful. Let's see if we can slap- Ah! He's, he's like doing corrosive damage to me apparently. Holy heck, like damage over time is crazy. I don't think I'm able to just slap this guy though. Oh, he's doing like a tornado and it's like bouncing back at me and killing me, man! <laughs> okay, you know what? L let's do one of the- oh. Okay, yeah. How many more times can I die? Like 40 something now? Actually, when I fell off the map, I don't think that counted as dying, right? The little cartographer guy saved me, I guess. But yeah, last episode was the first time we can die, so that kind of sucks there. But yeah, we're going to miss out on. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, if we go back, we're able to get our silicon back, right? Because we got like 100 of it or something. Ambient temperature 81 degrees. Biosign's nominal. Yeah, something like that. Hold on. Let's go back there. And yeah, I might want to use that like more powerful shot from the gun to try and actually kill that thing, right? Oh, that's another tablet over there, isn't it? Uh, it looks like it might be, but I have to get past that big primal jellyfish guy first. Let's try and get back over there. Actually, you know what? Yeah, it's definitely used to grab and might want to use... Which one is it? This? Yeah, I don't think we need that. This one? This is the one that like slows things down. Maybe I could try that out. I guess we throw it on the guy and that's going to slow him down. It's going to make him a little bit easier to shoot, perhaps. He, he seems super duper evasive, a lot more evasive than the other uh, the regular like green bluish ones, whatever those colors were. Where is he? I don't see him. I don't know where he is. Oh! Oh, there he is, there he is. Oh, I missed. Golly. Whoop. There you go, I got him. Oh, he's on the ground. Oh, yeah, you know what? Well, that killed him right there. I didn't even do the uh, the big shot right there. I just shot him once. <laughs> Either that or he was already weakened from earlier, huh? But, man, yeah, that's very powerful. Definitely want to throw more poop at him, right? <laughs> There's, of course, just an eyeball left over after that, huh? And a little bit of health over here. Vitality. Don't mind if I do. And what about these things? I was trying... Yeah, 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 scan them. Amber. What a sap. <laughs> No, actually, you'll need acid to dissolve that. Okay, so uh, acid, so we need to come across those, like, are they over here? Oh, yeah, there is one right there. Oh, this... Hold on. Amber. Okay, so that's like an artifact right there. I need to get some of this and then just throw it on that. And get rid of that. And now I can scan whatever the, like, a weird alien oil pump thing? Or did the U.S. come over here and start pumping oil? Interesting. This pump seems to be connected to that nearby shrine. Hmm, okay. Alien pump jack. Oil, but not really. Black gold, nah. Texas tea, not at all. Okay. <laughs> Completely different, I guess, huh? Let's grab another one of these. Throw it at, uh, I guess that big one over there? I'm like, I'm not even throwing it. Oh, wait. Can I even do that to that one? Go to oh, wait. Okay, it did get dissolved right there. Okay, cool. Uh, nothing was underneath that. Okay. Uh, is there ever going to be anything under other than it just being covered on that? Are these all just going to be nothings? Okay, so it takes a second to dissolve. Yeah, you can see it's bubbling there. Oh, it's a green- Oh, now the other guys just spawned in. Well, we got some of the uh, alien goo. Don't mind if I do. Now, where did he go? There he is. Shoot him. Man. Ah, he's evasive as heck. There we go. We got him. Yeah. I think we're able to one-shot those guys, which is good. The regular ones, not the alpha ones, but... Uh, is that another- Oh, yeah, that's where we died. Yeah. There's, like, flares being set on. Yeah. So we can get our 107 silicon, 10 carbon. Don't mind if I do. We got our retrieve loot mission complete. It was crazy that we die and then we get a heckin' mission for it. But, uh, let's go to this. I guess over there? And like I said, we don't really even throw it. It kind of, like, launches itself. I'm just basically saying where it should go. Yeah, what about these big things? Bulwark bush. Hard on the outside. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, what's on the inside, then? This is so rewarding. Can I go on the inside? I'm like, it's just a bunch of tentacles sticking out of it, though. I don't know. Rewarding inside. Yeah, I don't know. It may, maybe later. Maybe that comes later. I don't know. But it seems like over there, there's some more stuff in the Vitality Plant. But where was it? Was it over here? There's another. Yeah, there's another tether point right there. Oh, wait. Yeah, right there. Okay, let's go down there. It looks like another. Oh, wait, no. That's not another uh, tablet thing. That's like a full-on shrine. Is that the shrine we need for the uh, for the radioactive stuff? Or not radioactive, the acid stuff? Interact? Hmm. There's nothing here. There is a thin resonance 
residue of the required material, but the ducts that would normally allow the continual flow of liquid are somehow blocked. Clear the blockage and get this shrine operating again. I'm going to clear the block. Maybe I have to... Don't just slap it, of course. But uh, maybe there's more of that acid around here I could use to kind of dissolve whatever's blocking it. Oh! Okay, so we got one of those guys. Hold on, where's the puffer bird at? Someone left a comment last episode, I think, or two episodes ago, whenever we first came in contact with these things, saying I could kick them, and that would also- Oh, that also worked too, yeah! So we don't even need to use, what is it, the booger? Oh, I got an achievement for that. What does that say? Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like it's just one of those orange goo- oh, No! Okay, I think it's just one of those orange goo things, so it's not giving me any acid, unfortunately. Level up right there, though. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, we're getting a lot of health and stuff now, you guys. It's crazy, but... Whoop, there you go. Oh, yeah. What does that one give us? Can I, uh... Might need to shoot that, actually. Is that going to give me anything good? Grapple seed. Okay, cool. We got some grapple seeds, but I don't know if there's any barnacles around here for me to latch onto. Oh, wait. Hold on. What's this? Yo, what is this? So for me to scan right here, specifically. Nasty looking hole. I wonder what's in it. Burgle Haven. Uh, so there must be something inside there. I might need to crouch down, but let's get some of the silicon up here, though, before I can forget about it. Look, there you go. 50 more silicon. Yeah, I might want to go back. Don't we have an alien ore or alien alloy that we could use for crafting back home? I think so, but I guess we'll get into there. Can I get into there? I don't think I'm able to get any closer to that. Oh! I can kind of see in there. Yeah, only for a split second, though, so maybe there's something kind of prevent me. Maybe, maybe that's not the entrance. Maybe that's like a puffer bird entrance. Maybe there's a bigger entrance on that. Wait! Oop. Nah. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. What did they say about it, by the way? Safe haven for burgle snatches to store their ill-gotten gains. Golly. Yeah, I don't know any other way into there, so... Man! Actually, yeah, let me scan this thing. I, I guess I didn't scan it. Launch Booster Shrine. Traces a powerful fuel-like substance linger in the shrine. Sampling it should unlock a new jump pack upgrade. Ooh. So now we're not going to be limited to just double jump. Maybe we could do a triple jump or even, like, a full-on, like, flying with that. That'd be really good, but... Like they said, something's blocking it, so uh, I guess we're going to keep exploring around, huh? Actually, yeah, let's do this. Oh, yeah, we have to go up there. Golly, I'm blind. <laughs> switch it activated, one out of three. I guess there's going to be another switch up there I have to activate, huh? So how do I even get up there, though? I need to go all the way around. Because... Oh, wait, no, right here. Let's do that. Lip. And go from one to another. And land! There we go. I'm already full on that, so I don't need that. So yeah, it looks like we need to activate multiple of those switches, or, uh, shrines, or whatever, huh? So am I going to get close enough to be able to, whoop, grapple onto that! There you go. And grapple onto that! Whoop! Awesome. Okay, we got these guys up here, though. Might want to try and slap- oh, speaking of such, I only have the choice of slapping them, because they're up- I'm making reloading! Ah, try and kill- oh, I got the alpha! Nice! Awesome! Well, I'm covered in, like, ink right now, so I can't see that well. There you go, got that one down, too. <laughs> awesome! Now I get all of them? I think so, and we got some more of that acid up here, so that's good. But it seems like we don't even need that for the, uh, for the main thing. We just need to activate three of the shrines, huh? So let's get that. Cover... oh, that over there. And we got another one over there, too, so grab that. See if we can get rid of the amber back there. Is it going to... kind of far away? Oh, there you go. Cool. So is there anything that was hiding under it, or...? I don't think so. Hmm. Oh, wait, is that a... Yeah, it's another orange goo thing. Awesome. Kind of blends in with the amber color, though. But we have 14 out of 100 of those things. Golly. Scan this other uh, oil pump thing. Uh, whoop, there you go. Alien pump jack. Well, I guess, yeah, we already scanned it, so it's not going to be anything new, huh? Actually, hold on. Where is this telling me to go? This way, right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm right here, but uh, I, don't, I don't see a shrine. Oh, I guess I've already done it, because there's two out of three switches activated. I don't remember doing that, but okay. <laughs> Can't complain about that, but where's the next, uh, that away? Okay, 112 meters that away, but is there anything else over here? Because it looks like, yeah, there's an island over here. That's on the more of my eye. And there's going to be just more of these acidic, what, what are they called again? Blight bombs. That's what they call blight bombs. But anyways, let's go to that other location that's like 100 meters away. Now, I'm able to go, yeah, yeah, it looks like we're able to, I guess, jump, yeah, jump onto this one first. And then we hook onto this. Oh, there you go. And it looks like, yeah, let's reload because I see another one of those. Like alpha squid guys over here, jellyfish guys. There's a lot of amber over here too. So there he is right there. I might want to try and get a pretty good shot on him if I can. He's all the way there in the background. There you go. Boom! Oh, he didn't die from that? What? I actually got him, man! There we go, he's down there now. We got another one over there. Man, that took like all my ammo. Wait! Killing him actually dissolved the amber over here. Did you guys see that? That was crazy. Is it going to dissolve that or... Maybe it's only whenever you do it for the alpha? 
But I need to get the amber off of that. I need to get the amber off of that too over there. So where are the uh, blight bombs at? Up here? This might be it. Might be hidden all the way up here and you have to go all the way around, huh? Yep, they're all the way over here. Golly, yeah. Really far away. Actually, I might be able to just throw them, huh? Can I just throw them from here all the way over there? Yeah, it doesn't go all the way over there, man. All right, let's just grab them. I guess we'll, uh, whoop, whoop, and then, ah, oh, it's about to blow. I killed a puffer bird, though, man. <laughs> whoop it Oh, it's still nice. It still dissolved it, but carpet. Oh, no. Oh, we got armored puffer birds over here attacking me now, man. <laughs> Can I go up there from here? Or do I have to use, yeah, I think I have to use the swing, man. And we got, yeah, they still got that oil pump right there, so I guess we have to activate three oil pumps then, huh? That's, that's the thing we need to do. Yeah. I don't know why it took me this long to figure out that's what it was. You just have to free the oil pumps from the, uh, from the, whatever it's called. There you go. And is that going to get it? I missed! How did I miss? Oh, wait, is that dissolving it? Because that's pretty good rent. I guess not, huh? Man! All right, let's try it again. <laughs> but yeah, the oil pumps, that's the thing that lets the, uh, the, whatever fluid that is that they're talking about, not quite oil, uh, flow into that shrine over there, so. It took me forever to heck to figure that out, but there you go. Boom, we got it! The shrine should now be active, or useful, or whatever. <laughs> go extract the <laughs> open juice. All right, let's go get, wait, what did she just call it right there? Something juice? <laughs> Let's jump down. And I think it's... Oh, is it the one down here? I don't know. Ah! Double jump to break my fall a little bit. Whew. So I don't take too much fall damage. Although I think there is... Isn't there a vitality plant around here? I don't know. Let's go check up on that shrine and see if it has that liquid now. And I guess we're going to get a new jetpack upgrade, huh? Maybe that requires an alien alloy. Yep, there it is right there. And we could actually use that alien alloy for our uh, jetpack upgrade. Instead of a... What is it called? A blight bomb gauntlet upgrade or something, huh? Or maybe, am I going to come across another alien alloy and I'll be able to do both? I don't know. Keep exploring around though, but... Alright! The 3D printer can now print your boost upgrade. Cool. So, uh, I guess we just go back, huh? Is there anything else I might want to check out around here while I'm here? Uh, let's get a little bit closer to this and latch onto it! And we got another one right here. Blip. And... Oh, I guess that's how we get up to there instead of... Okay, so they're all just kind of interconnected. This is kind of a shortcut over there. Okay. Oh. Uh, it's all ready. That kind of looks like that thing over there, so I'm not able to quite go to that, I don't think. Maybe that comes a little bit later. So maybe we'll save this little island. Maybe we'll save that for the future. But for right now, let's just go all the way back to the ship. Whoop. Oh, hey, there's my dead body. Wait. Shamefully bury your body. I guess we'll do that, sure. <laughs> I'm like, aren't I just a clone of that? Or maybe I'm a clone of the clone of the original. Wait, what is this? Wait, what? I got a little bit of aluminum, carbon, and silicon from that, I guess? Oh, wait, is that a number? Okay, number two. So hold on, how many times have I died? Am I number three right now, or am I number four? Because I feel like I died a second time, didn't I? So I died last episode. Yeah, where's that dead body going to be? Oh, yeah, I think I, I, I roughly know where that's going to be. It's going to be by the meteor. Uh, wait, how in the world do I get all the way back here now? Actually, yeah, while we're here, there's that video tablet or whatever right there. I guess I'll explore a little bit this way, if this even is where you have to do that. So, uh, okay, that's just a latch point or whatever. I, I'm just going to call it that, latch point. Oh, my God, I make it! Oh, barely, golly. I don't see it. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, there's like a teeny tiny little entrance there. What is that? Scan that. Alien hieroglyphics? Cool. It looks like they're indicating that we need some kind of jump augmentation to progress. So I, I kind of have a jump augmentation right now, or are they talking about the one that we just unlocked over there, which we still need to go get? Leaping Alien Petroglyph. This Alien Petroglyph seems to indicate the need for a vertical leap jump upgrade to progress. How convenient. Now we have the double jump. Probably not able to progress anyways, unless I have like a triple jump or whatever. Oh wait. Ooh, what is that up there? Is that going to get me something good? It is gel gelatinous blob. Yeah, we already have that, but... I guess whatever upgrade that we need, I guess we don't have it, because that seems a little bit too steep for us, so... That kind of sucks. Actually, the gel gelatinous blob. Well, that's binding bile. Yeah, you, we need some of that because we got that guy stuck a minute ago. But yeah, the gelatinous blob. That's able to make us like bounce and stuff with that. But yeah, it might come here after we uh, get that seemingly, I guess, jetpack upgrade. We're able to fly with that now, or it's like going to be just like a triple jump or something. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But for right now, oh wait, no. Wait, where is this? Festering chasm. Was oh, that a teleport over there? Oh, I think it is. Should we go unlock that just so it's done and out of the way? Oh, whoop, whoop. These are like huge, like, spaces I have to jump between here. You guys have to be very careful. Oh, what in the world is that? Is that, is that another puffer bird? Amber armor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like green poo looking stuff. 
<laughs> Need to be careful of that, but... Lip. There we go. I don't know how I'm going to get safely down there. I guess I'll go here, and then I'll, like, latch onto that thing over there. Am I able to do that from here? Lip. Do a jump, jump, break my fall a little bit, and land up here. Woo! Even though I was already on the ground for a second there. Secret nearby. Where is it? I probably don't even have the right... Well, I'm able to jump onto that. And then, but okay. Uh, I guess I'll just go around this way. Just so I can get that teleport unlocked. So we can actually come here a little bit later. And... Looks like if there's a wall over there that I can actually hit with a bomb of granite. If I land in this water, is this going to break my fall? This isn't even water. Okay. Glad I uh, double jumped there at the last second. Kind of break my fall. So let's go activate this teleporter thing. Oh! Ooh, a temporal fissure. I've always wanted to see one of these. Wait, what does it mean? Temp so I have to kill. Oh, all oh, these puffer birds are trying to kill me. Are these different? Oh, they're all out. Ah! Just a bunch of alphas around here. Oh, oh, there's another one right there. Holy heck. Is he like super armored or something? Oh, jump around. Oh, he's exploding. Golly. Yeah, the alphas all explode after you heck can kill them. But it seems like you have to do I have to kill them before the teleport unlocks. I get oh, oh, jellyfish. OK, it seems like this is just going to be a little like gauntlet I have to go through until that teleport unlocks rather than just giving it to me for free, I guess. Huh? Whoa. Oh, I'm getting burned like crazy from the jellyfish, guys. Thank you for your service. Man, I was thinking like, is it the stuff I'm stepping in that's like burning? But no, I'm just surrounded by egg and jellyfish guys in here, man. Spaceman, spaceman, huh? why do you keep dying? Spaceman, do you like it? Poetry's not my strong suit. <laughs> okay, well, while we're here, let's see if we can get that upgrade. Hold on, where's it going to be? I guess backpack, yeah, backpack. Launch boosters, discover the wonders of flight with a brief few seconds. Okay, so it seems like it launches you in the air for a few seconds. And then that's kind of separate from the double jump. So I'm able. Okay, yeah, I'm able to get that right now. Let's do it. Boom! Don't even require an alien alloy. Congrats! Now you can jump high enough to hurt yourself when you land. Every rose has its lethal fall damage. <laughs> okay. I guess there's going to be an upgrade in the future to kind of get rid of fall damage, right? So that'd be really good. But for right now, yeah, I'd probably be. Oh wait, no. Oh yeah, yeah, right here. Yeah, but I want to go over to the. Where is it? Meteor crater. Isn't it? Is there going to be a dead body of me like number one? I get like bury and, and get some like harvest my own dead body for resources. I can play an art survival evolve and like harvest my dead body for like raw meat or whatever. <laughs> I thought I died like right here. I don't see my dead. Unless hold on. I, I guess you could only die once and bury your dead body once. Like the time that I died again, that probably despawned my body over here. So I can't bury it. So if that's the case, that kind of sucks. But I don't know where it is. Yeah, I don't see it here, man. All right. Well, let's just go back to what, what was I called? Like the itching fields. Planetary flotsam. I guess we'll go into that area. Now, where is that from this teleport, though? Because it, it looked like it had to go, like, all around, but... Oh, it's up there. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. Yeah, from here... I guess that's where I was, but... Yeah, there's no way from here. Okay, so I do have to go all the way around like that. Golly. Throw another... No, I don't think there's another way there. So I have to go all the way around there. Man, okay, let me get back to where I just died a minute ago, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, I'm back up here, which is 33 meters out of way. Is that just still spawning stuff in? I don't know what's going on down there, but... Lip, and then... Lip. Now, I haven't used the, the... Hold on. How's that actually work? Okay, I have to hold Alt to charge, release to activate. Okay, so let's see if I can do that. So... Ooh, there we go. But that seems to get rid of my double jump there, so that kind of sucks. Man! I'm going to get used to that, but get down here. There's going to be a lot of enemies. Yeah, there's that little flare indicating where my dead body is. I guess I can bury myself again, but there's going to be a lot of enemies around there because I just see a bunch of alpha puffer birds. Oh, I can hear one yelling at me right now, though, but up. Ah! Okay, I guess we're good now, huh? All right, so let's go. Oh, is that another? Yeah, it's just a regular puffer bird right there. Let's kill him. Another puffer bird. And we got an alpha right there. He's going to explode. I'm about to get to go right now. Golly. Wait, what the? Man, it seemed like there was one exploding underneath me or something, but are we going to get more enemy? Yo, what is that? It must be whatever this stuff is that's damaging me then, huh? Okay, there's another jellyfish guy. Kind of want to get... Oh, I see the purple. I see the purple one. You need to be clear of him. We got a... Okay, that's a pom bomba granite right there. I need to watch out for the bomba granite. Oh, man, we got that up there too. But yeah, the bomba granites, I'm sure are going to heck and explode and kill me. I'm not careful. There we go. I'm getting inked right now too. I can't see. Man... I need to upgrade my gun, too, so I'll have to reload quite as often. But there you go. There's another one. Where is it? Indicating it's this way. Oh. What is it? Where is it? I don't know where it is, but man, there's a lot of, like, silicon and stuff around here. Well, if anything, yeah, we can get some of the bombs from this, so that's good. But Well, there he is. Or 
Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's that guy. Okay. So we come across these guys again. We need to hit them in the tail. Yeah, whenever he's vulnerable like that. Oh, we got him one. Oh. Uh, I can't get him now. Uh, ah, yeah, I have to wait until he attacks me again and then... Whoop. Now, how do I... Okay, there you go. Whoa, just shift left and shift right. Get away from him and shoot his tail when it's vulnerable. There we go. Seems like I have to shoot his tail, like, multiple times, though. Like, hit him in the tail on the left side and then the right side. And just hit the right side this time. Man, I know there's a secret nearby. Stop yelling at me about it. There we go. We got him. The teleporter seems to have stabilized. Go activate it. All right, good. Let's go get our... Uh, oh, man, yeah, these things were everywhere. I don't know why I didn't see them until now. <laughs> but there you go. So we got this teleporter on like this. That's pretty cool that we don't just get it free. We have to actually kill a bunch of enemies first. Huh? So there you go. Festering chasm. And then the planetary flotsam. Uh, no other teleporter over in the planetary flotsam, though. So that's good. Now, uh, now it's kind of safe. Okay, yeah, this stuff doesn't seem to kill you. Okay, so I guess I was just getting surrounded by a bunch of jellyfish guys. and Hey, there's my dead body again. Shamefully bury your body. <laughs> this is going to be number three, right? Or number four? Oh, yeah, number three. And it's like crooked, too. I can't fix that. Whoopsie daisy. But, anyways, uh, yeah, these guys are just covered in amber. I don't know why I'd want to get rid of their amber, but uh, I guess I'll just leave it for now. But what is this? Is that going to get me something new? Or that is whatever it was, it, I guess despawned because it landed in the water right there. <laughs> so that guy's like, but. Is there anything else around here I need to look at? Let's, let's get the scanner out. Oh, yeah, these things right here. Yeah, what what, are, what is this thing? Did it play a part in me, like, dying a minute ago, or...? Yeah, probably. There's, like, a bunch of spores around it. Reminds me of hard cooperation. You want to stay away from those things. Get some damage over time from them, I guess, huh? I don't think there's anything else around here. Of course, a bomb. Oh, another one of these things. So that was, yeah, that was indicating the, uh, the jump thing previously. Yeah, right here. So if I scan this... Whoops, didn't mean to slap the thing. So it was a petrograph, or petroglyph, or whatever. So, how high is it? Oh, there's another one of those orange things. Hold on, let's go grab that. It's going to be a level up. Probably going to end off the episode here pretty soon. Look, there you go. Grabbed it. Nice. I don't know if you'd call what we did this episode progress. Oh, it's one of those uh, boomerang bat guys. Whatever it's called. Okay, just kill him. It seems like he just bounces back at us, though. So, I need to be... There we go. So, is he... I guess he's in a defensive position whenever he's... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, whenever he's, like, flying around, he's kind of, like, vulnerable. So, you have to shoot him whenever he's flying around. Ooh. Ooh. That seems to be the case, because otherwise it just bounces back at me. See a little bit of carbon back here, or, uh, what is this? Is this carbon? Yeah, it's carbon. Okay, cool. Oh, it's one of the- Oh! Oh, it's one of the boomerang guys. Let's get him while he's in midair. Yeah, see, whenever- Yeah, whenever he's hanging like that- Oh, and there we go. We got him now. We have these guys around here, too. <laughs> well, I never scan these guys. Yeah, scan them whenever they're, like, the small versions of them. I want to see what it says. Ah, oh, they're so far away now. Oh, there he is. Scan him! Scan him! He's so teeny tiny! Again? I've never wanted to self-terminate more than I do right now. <laughs> the presumably final form of the nature's worst nesting doll. Golly. I, get, I, don't, I don't think I ever scanned the half. That's the quarter one. Where's the half one at? Where is he? There he is. And scan the blue one. There he goes. He's kind of stuck. There we go. Demi. Okay. New messages are waiting for you at the javelin. Yeah, we, we have a lot of messages and whatnot. We need to catch up on, it seems. So. And it was, oh, yeah. From this this thing right here. Let's, let's see if we can let me try and get over here. Um, yeah, there you go. And then from here, there we go. I don't know if that's actually what you're supposed to do, but <laughs> there we go. And I think I have a bomb grant. I saw this in the background. I think I mentioned it previously, right? So if I do that and try and keep my distance so I can explode myself. Oof. What's this? Oh, it's another one of those fuel things. There you go. Fuel tank, 40%. Cool. So I guess we get 20% from every one of these. So I guess we need to find five of these to get a full tank for uh, Javelin, huh? So there you go, cartographer. Cool. So... I guess that's it. Oh, I guess if anything, we have that other uh, area we could actually go check out real quick. Yeah, right here. Yeah, see, this cliff is a lot smaller than that cliff that we're at a minute ago. So from here, yeah, we could easily jump from this to this, and from this to this. And we got a little bit of carbon, too. Boop. And we get this goo. Don't mind if I do. And we got a level up. Yeah, what? I, I don't know how to check, like, what level I am right now. Oh, was this thing on the top left? There's like three orange things, but now they're gone. Now, am I able to actually latch onto that? Whoop! Oh, and then land over here! Ow! And then another one! Hey, two level ups. Still mind if I do. I'm like, there's a hundred of these things. We're still missing. Is that number 17 or is that 18? Yeah, I guess that's 17. So there's still 83 more of those, golly. Uh, let's keep going around. Oh, yeah, and then we get like these metal, what are they called? Seed things? Oh, well, grapple seed and gelatinous blob. Yeah, we're full on both of those. Might get that upgrade that lets us hold five things instead of just three. That seems pretty valuable there. Uh, either that or like a gun upgrade. I don't know. Maybe I could do both. I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. 
Oh, and by the way, hold on. I see this over here. Is this something? Slap this. This is oh another level. Oh my gosh, we're getting a lot of level ups here, you guys. Yeah, definitely need to look out for these things. Slap them and they retract into the ground. Boom! That's number 18. So we have 82 more of those things to get. But now I think it's safe to go back to the ship. So let me head back there real quick and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright, we're back at the javelin habitat. If you wanna. Yeah, let's see. Man, I got a lot of silicon there. We have 568 in total now. Holy heck. Ready to craft a live sampler, better utility belt. I think that's the thing that gives me more inventory space for uh, what I just said a minute ago. And then quick reload, is that all? Yeah, I, I guess there's no uh, bigger magazine upgrade I could do here, huh? Dodging is only cool when bulls are involved. Fast reload means less fear. In the I'm like, we kind of need that anyways, but uh, that requires an alien alloy. So do I want to use it for that or live sampler? Allows you to extract live sample from living tissue. Ooh, I guess I don't have this yet. So I, I guess we'll do this. Was it require? I don't know what it requires. I guess I'm just making it. Amazing. Remember, completing your new science experiments will increase your rank, and increasing your rank will unlock all kinds of new tools. Hurrah for progress. Okay, right now we're rank one junior explorer. Next is going to be field explorer. We're 20% the way there. Okay, cool. Well, for right now, visor, what's this? Smarter visor upgrades your scanner to have a bigger detection range. Well, I'm like, oh, I have complained about stuff being illness outside of range and whatnot. That requires an alien alloy too, so do I want to have that? Because your zoom distance improves the survey range, yeah. I don't know, let's look at the other stuff real quick though. The, I guess, items. This, okay, well that's another mission there. It's gonna be five objects of any time. I'm like, I hardly use them that much anyways. Oh, I need to be ranked two for the Bomber Grant booster. Bigger blast, stronger blast. That's probably the bigger one, huh? Instead of just the little grenade ones, that's probably gonna be a literal bomb. <laughs> that's gonna be crazy, but right now, backpack visor, and weapon. With the alien alloy we are right now, maybe I'll get this one, but I hardly use all of them, you know? The only reason I want to get them is because we keep coming in contact with those, like, metal seed things, whatever they're called. <laughs> and we keep getting more of them, but we have a full inventory already, but... I don't know, maybe the visor. Just so we, we don't have to worry about, like, being outside of range and all that kind of stuff, right? And we can zoom more anyways. Yeah, I feel like I'd use the smarter visor. I feel like I'd use that more often. What is this over here? Orange goo detector. Ooh. Well, I need to be ranked two for that anyways. And then alien alloy detector. That'd be really good too. Holy heck, those are going to be great upgrades in the future. But for right now, I think I'm going to get the smarter visor. Upgrade complete. What are they talking about in the background? Horse biscuits or something like that? Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> Never mind, golly. There you go, you guys. I guess it's going to be where we're going to end off the episode, huh? So for right now, I guess we'll go to the festering chasm and do my outro. So... Thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And when you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Journey to the Savage Planet comes out so you don't miss it. How many more times am I going to die? I don't know. Because apparently I guess I've died two, three times now? It's a dead body number. Yeah, I guess I've died three times because I'm dead body... Or <laughs> future dead body number four right now, I guess, huh? But I guess we're going to have to wait until next episode to find out. So until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Journey to the Savage Planet. Oh, bye there.